Alright, so, hey guys, today we are going to be doing another video. Today we are going to be reacting to Son of a Glitch Sonic Forces by Abel Star. I recommend you check it out. Sonic Forces. Now I know it's easy to pick on a Sonic game, but this one is particularly... Yeah, yeah. But wait, don't worry about it just yet. There are ways to make this game slightly more fun. And that way is, of course, with glitches. Every okay, game is better with glitches. Well, in my opinion, anyway. So why don't we kick things off with the very first glitch and imagine you have just bought this game, you're playing the first stage, and realize you can stomp at the very beginning, where Sonic's getting launched into the stage. Well, yep, that's a thing that can happen, that's and it happened to quite a few do. people, let's put it that way. Yeah. Now, Sonic Team and their infinite wisdom actually patched this one so it won't work in any other version than 1.0 so well done sonic team you did a thing except there's a few glitches that they didn't patch for example the huge out of bounds in the spaceball stage now yeah, to pull this glitch off you're going to need the void wisp on and the ability to teleport then you just ride these grind rails to practically the end and then neutral jump and teleport to the right side of the stage. And what will happen is the Void Wisp on doesn't allow you to fall to your death so you're able to float towards this out of bounds area just off to the right. Now unfortunately there's not a ton wow. of things to see here but I always love getting out That's of bounds and so this is one of those glitches that was like wow. And it also showed me the lost potential of this game. I mean look at this area. I want to explore this area and unfortunately it only extends out so far so I was kind of bummed that this wasn't more of a more of a thing anyway so it's a fun little glitch to try out and it's very easy too now as much as I love going out of bounds and I do love going out of bounds I also like sure. glitches where the character models get I messed up and that's exactly what we're gonna do yeah. This glitch takes place in stage 4, and what we need is our OC character to have the drill, and a rental character to have the burst wisp on. Something this is because to activate so this glitch, we need to switch between the two different avatar characters. We then need to reach this part of prison lane where there's this pulley that comes down, and these two robots who are trying to kill you, I mean, are they trying to kill me? What we need to do now is stand underneath where the pulley comes down. And now here's the tricky part. What we need to do is using the burst wisp on character, take out these two robots and then quickly switch to the drill character. Yeah. And if you successfully time this correctly, you'll be treated to one of my favorite glitches in the game. Now, for some strange yeah. reason, your OC character is Stretch, and I yeah. think this is because the game still thinks it's playing the animation where the two characters switch out. Uh, I have no yeah, idea, cool. but this yeah. is hilarious. The first time I saw this, I thought, this is it. This is the jackpot. This is the glitch jackpot right here. But just yeah, as usual, is. it gets better. At the end of this stage is a long section where the camera is behind the OC character as we try to escape from prison lane. Yeah. However, this camera angle shows us indefinitely that our character is stretched and when I first saw this that was it I was done now depending on your timing for this glitch you'll get some different results varying from a very stretched character to a slightly stretched character or an invisible character entirely yeah you're not seeing things this must be some kind of stealth wisp on I'm gonna go on record and say this is probably one of my favorite glitches in the game but we're not done yet there are still tons of glitches to check out for this next glitch you're gonna need to head to aqua road and you'll need the hover wisp on about halfway through the stage you'll be able to charge up the hover wisp on this and then make your way to this ramp it. but don't I've touch the ramp this, instead like, take a long run up and then jump room. over the ramp aiming for just underneath this kind of water flu once you're underneath it you then want to activate the hover wisp on and this will trigger a glitch where once you finally get taken back to land which takes forever by the way your OC character will hit the ground and then slide around it as if they're riding the current of the water <laughs> Naturally, this looks ridiculous, but it's a very easy, fun glitch to pull off. I mean, this guy will just continue sliding around for as long as you let him. And seemingly, nothing actually makes the OC character change to a running animation. Like, not even getting hurt by enemies will change this. I let this guy slide around for maybe a good two minutes, and then eventually they just stopped in this corner. And now I think about it, this goes really well with the music that's playing. Yeah, okay, to be honest, I agree. Well, this certainly made this game a lot more fun. A really it's simple and easy glitch to pull off, you should definitely try this one. Let's move on to some glitches with Classic Sonic. Now, apparently Classic Sonic and Slopes don't really work out in the way you'd expect. Well, not all of the time, anyway. 
let me elaborate on this with a few examples. At the very beginning of Casino Forest is this giant loop, and if you charge up the spring to push Sonic around it, if you're going just about the right speed and you suddenly press left around here, Sonic will fall through the ground. I know, it seems pretty basic. Uh, how did they screw this one up? This is kind of cool though, because as you fall through the ground, the camera angle changes and you get to see Sonic in a kind of 3D-esque environment, except you're still just falling and that's the end of that. The exact same thing could be done in Green Hill Zone in this area, and as you get halfway up the ramp and Sonic seems to stop, you just press right and Sonic will again fall through the ground. I mean, it's the ground, it's supposed to be solid. Sonic just falls straight through it, oh my goodness. This version is slightly less impressive than Casino Forest, as once Sonic just continues falling, that's it. No camera angle change or anything, you just die. Here's a slightly different classic Sonic glitch that takes place in Death Egg. You'll find this area with a booster inside of a half pipe kind of situation, and if Sonic's going up the slope, if you press left at just the right time, you'll get this. Oh look everybody, it's Sonic 4. Again, it's, it's back. It's coming to show you all how great it was the first time around. That's it, I'm out of here, I'm done. Okay, let's go back to modern Sonic and check out Luminous Forest. About halfway through this stage is a giant loop that Sonic can sometimes get a little bit confused about how loops work. And instead he ends up doing his best Superman impression. Yeah, I don't think that one's gonna work out for you, Sonic. Eventually, mm -hmm. you're gonna succumb to gravity and die. However, there is one slight glitch in this stage that's actually pretty useful. You're looking to reach this part of the stage where there's a collection of robots in front of a huge neon sign. Now, if you stand around here and face directly right and then boost, Sonic will run up a seemingly invisible wall mm -hmm. until he reaches the top. Sonic will now get some serious air time, and if you boost and hold up right slightly, if you let go of the boost button a short amount of time after the camera position change, Sonic will land on a solid platform out of bounds. Why is this solid? I have no idea. You can also mess around with the culling of the stage up here. I don't think I was supposed to do that. You can get a great view of the entire stage from here, and you can even just about make out the end of the stage. And this is where this glitch is about to get pretty useful. You see, at the end of this stage is a giant snake. I don't know why there's a giant snake. Somebody can explain that to me, that would be great. But there's a giant snake, and you can skip this giant snake, which will be super useful in a speedrun. All you have to do is stand about roughly here, take a good run up, and then a double jump, and then boost your way to victory. This should give you enough speed and height to boost your way past the trigger for the snake and get to the end of the stage in record time. You see, I told you this glitch was useful. Now you don't have to see the snake. Why is this in a game? So what if I told you you could use this exact same trick to skip a lot of the egg gate? Well, to do exactly that, what you need to do is reach this part of the stage, which is pretty early on, and then you need to get rid of these two barriers. Those guys have to go get out of here. And then you need to stand roughly here and then tap boost and then jump immediately afterwards and hold four. Forward, making sure you continue to hold the jump button. Now if you do this just right, Sonic will end up inside the building, but he'll be out of bounds technically. And if this is the case, now you need to switch to holding directly right, mm. and Sonic will now be flying out of bounds. Through space. 100% plausible. Now the next part of this skip is pretty difficult, and quite honestly, I failed mm. this more times than I care to count. You need to continue holding right until everything disappears, and then Sonic is literally just in space. And then you need to be holding up and slightly left on the control stick. I think. See, there's no real point of reference here, so you're gonna have to kind of guess or get a feel for it. But things should yeah, pop back into view, yeah, and you should be able to see this tiny this. grind rail, which we're gonna try and land on, and honestly, it's like trying to land a plane on a piece of wire. And you also need to land in an area where the spaceships can trigger correctly so you can actually finish the stage. Otherwise, you're gonna land on this grind rail mm -hmm. and then grind to Sonic's death. I gotta be honest, I don't know what the rules are to this part of the stage. Uh, it, just, it just seems to happen, or it doesn't. So, uh, good luck to you. But if you actually manage to pull this thing off, you can save a significant amount of time on this stage by skipping all the 2D section of it. So yeah, I don't hate myself for attempting this for three hours. I don't I don't hate myself at all. Okay, let's move on to Arsenal Pyramid, where there's a myriad of glitches we can perform in this one stage, with the first bunch of glitches being used just to skip huge chunks of it. Now for this 
this tag stage, you're gonna need an avatar character with a drill, and this will become very apparent in a second. Now what you need to do is at this part of the stage, right near the beginning, you're going to need to switch to Sonic by boosting, and this for some reason has some odd effects on the avatar character. I'll show you what I mean. Basically, whenever you're Sonic and you jump and then stomp, or sometimes if you just press the stomp button without jumping, the avatar character has a tendency to go behind Sonic, and he'll also have no collision, so he's able to go through walls. Now now by slightly charging up the drill and holding forwards, the avatar character is now technically out of bounds. This means you can get to the corner of this ramp and charge up the drill while holding up and right, and once you let go, if you boost, you can reach another out of bounds area. For some reason this area has solid collision, and you're technically in the air, I don't really understand, but okay. Now I can already hear you guys thinking, why would you want to do this? Well, there's one big reason. Doing this whole thing means you skip the double boost trigger, which means you now have access to this entire area leading up towards the entrance of the top of the pyramid, and this leads to a whole host of glitchy things which were definitely unintended. For instance, you can now stand on this ramp and run up it, which was usually automated, but you have full control, which also means you can stand inside these buzz bombers, and they have no hitbox, but you can destroy them. This is a very strange situation, quite honestly. I also noticed if you go to the very top of the ramp, there's a very automated section which, depending on what speed you you approach it, you'll be carried towards the springs that launch you inside the pyramid. To give a great example of how this glitch works, I approached it at just the right speed, I was able to turn Sonic backwards, where he's now moonwalking? The Avatar character is just completely backed out of this and walking back down the hill. This kind of reminds me of how people saw Sonic Forces. You can imagine them going into the store and being like, actually, no, I don't really want to buy this game. And honestly, this alone just cracked me up, but there's yet more we can do with this glitch. So let's yeah. pretend we go back a little bit and we've just skipped the double boost trigger and we have access to this whole thing and the ramp. As we're running up the ramp, we want to get some more boost by destroying these buzz bombers, who remember have no hitbox unless you destroy them. And we also want our avatar character running in a straight line and then Sonic being on the left side of him. If this changes, you can run up against the right side and this will change how Sonic's positioned. But in me trying this glitch, I found this was the best way to pull it off for some reason if Sonic's on the other side, I wasn't able to get this to work. Okay, so you're running up the ramp, everybody's in the right position, and once you reach about here, you want to side step left, hold left on the control stick, and then boost, and this will make Sonic and the Avatar character run right through the ramp and out of bounds. You want to keep boosting while holding left until the boost meter reaches about here, and then you need to switch to up left. You then just need to continue boosting up left until the boost meter reaches about here, and still holding the boost button, charge so up the drill as much as you can, and then still holding up left, just let the drill go. If you pull this off correctly, you'll now be placed at the very end of the stage, and and this skips a huge chunk of the whole thing. Now this may yeah, take some practice, there was a couple of things that I really didn't understand about this whole thing, and then once I actually got it down, I was able to do this pretty consistently, so it may take some practice. I love how broken this game is, it's one of the most fun things about it. Now if we go all the way back to how the drill basically breaks the whole game, this technique of getting the avatar character inside the wall and then getting out of bounds can be used in a number of places. For instance, if you get inside the pyramid legitimately and you end up in this area, you can get the avatar just through the wall and then drill and boost your way back to the main ramp And this has some strange effects in itself Like you may have been wondering where Sonic and the avatar character were when we were skipping the double boost section Well, this glitch will kind of highlight what's going on there Well, you see this entire stretch has some invisible collision way above it Which Sonic and his friends can run on top of this collision ends just before the pyramid and also leads to some very strange camera shots I don't know if you can see but but if you look very closely, yep, that's uh, that's Sonic and his friend just uh, high up in the air. Give us a wave, guys. Let's continue our The Drill Breaks Everything saga by heading to Red Bridge where the Metal Sonic fight takes place. Now, at the very beginning of this stage is a boost pad, which if you jump over and then slightly turn around, you can do the same get the avatar out of bounds trick as before. Now, if you copy exactly what I'm doing on screen, you'll skip a trigger for the giant robot that pops up, and you'll actually be able to get out of bounds over here by drilling through the wall. Now, for some reason, areas around here are solid, but you can actually use this as a shortcut to reach the Metal 
drill sonic boss fight. Honestly, there's a ton of different ways the drill breaks the game, but I'm not going to go into that. I'm going to wrap this up with one final glitch, which happens to be probably my favorite glitch in the entire game, which was sadly patched out. So that's a thing. But hey, if you happen to have the version 1.0, then uh, go nuts. Anywho, this glitch again takes place in Arsenal Pyramid, and it's called the Slow Double Boost, and you will see exactly why. Basically, what you need to do is when you hit the trigger for double boost in this stage, you need to press pause when the timer is at 0.00. Now mm. this, as far as I understand, is a frame perfect glitch. Basically, you're triggering the cue for the double boost animation while you quick pause the event so the game doesn't know what to do and that results in this. Everything will now be at maybe half the speed? I have no idea, but it is super slow and this will continue for the rest of the stage. That's exactly how I felt when I bought this game. Honestly. Just For people who better. played this game at release on PC probably won't notice the difference, but this isn't how the game is supposed to run. Check out these slow motion explosions. The music to this part is now slightly different, but Sonic still speaks regularly, and this line, I swear, it got me so good. Yeah, that's how it's done. We've got unstoppable speed and timing. If you make it inside the pyramid, you can see some really janky animations when you try to walk around. It's pretty funny, actually. Now, it's a real shame this was patched, but you can definitely still do this on the unpatched version of the game. This glitch may take you a couple of tries to get. As I said before, it is a frame-perfect glitch, but hey, it's pretty easy aside from that. And so that was Sonic Forces glitches. It really is quite a glitchy game, now I think about it. It was one of the most requested episodes of the show I've ever had, but if there are some things that I missed, maybe it's worth revisiting at some point. But until then, these are some fun and relatively easy glitches in Sonic Forces. A huge shout out to the guys who found some of these glitches, like Darkspine, Sonic, and Beta M, but mostly I want to give a huge shout out to Akarian. He was kind enough to walk me through some of these speedrunning strats, and I really appreciate him taking the time to help me out like that, so and a that huge thanks to him. Video. If you want to see some of these glitches used in a like speedrun, you can check out his like speedrun attempts on his Twitch page, there'll be a link sure in the description. Like I'd really appreciate it if you go and check him out and show him some support. And if you like this episode, I just gotta upload this video, so I'll see you guys later.